Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today we are going to start um, building up the computer um, that we were going to be building. So first of all, what we need to do is we just, um, so <clears throat> firstly, just so you guys can see, so here's the motherboard that we'll be using. Um, it is um, an ASRock uh, A520M HVS. Um, <clears throat> so this is compatible with 5000 series. We're putting a 3000 series Ryzen on it. Um, so you've got the M2. Um, obviously, that's where your CPU and cooler will go in. Um, two DDR4 um, uh, RAM slots. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get going with this now. Uh, since we've got all the components that we did require for this build. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look if, um, <clears throat> well, the fitment of um, of the motherboard into this uh, case. Um, so we've already got um, one, two, three, four, five, six standoffs. Um, I can clearly now see that um, obviously because we are installing a M80X motherboard, um, I believe we will need to adjust um, this one to be in line with the with the other one i think that would um fit more of um an atx um um size motherboard um it doesn't really indicate but um we'll see how the fitment goes here we go um so we're going to just uh, slot this in here and first of all what we're doing is we're just going to be testing um, if uh, this will fit because we do need to install the um, the shield at the back um, <clears throat> ideally before um, we get the motherboard in so I can already see uh, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera but um, um, you can actually see that this uh, this one is um, um, out of place so we're gonna adjust that first um, so we're just going to carefully take uh, the motherboard out. Um, so to do this, it's pretty simple. Um, these are just screwed in. Um, let me see if I can uh, get... No, it, it's, it, it doesn't seem to be coming out. Let me see if I've got the right tool here. Um, no, it doesn't fit. Um, so we need to go get some tools um so i'm just gonna pause the video and um check back later right we're back um so just so you know that um i didn't have the right tool to get that out so here it is um we're gonna be using a socket the one that did fit um was size five socket uh, so i'm not sure if you can see that on the camera so what we're going to do is we're going to um, take that uh, out and obviously um, put it into the right slot that we needed at. Let me see if... Uh, yep, so here we go. So what we just need to do is just put it in there and uh, remove it from... There we go. So all we need to do is it was in... Um, I'm not sure if you can actually see. Yeah, so it was in this one. Uh, what we need to do is we just need to put it in this one. So it's lined with the other one. Um, okay. So I'm just going to. Just going to see if it can just like. Temporarily before I. Screw it in. Yep, so what we can do is we can just secure it by hand and then obviously we can uh, just do a quick, uh, yep, that's it. It's all secured now. We'll put the tools away. So um, also with the, um, with the case, you will get a number of uh, screws um and i can just show you so you get a number of screws you you also got some extra of these uh motherboard standoffs but you wouldn't need to really use them because they're already in there but obviously they have provided you with extra three i can see um so from the kit um firstly you'll have to just have a look at um, the appropriate screws that will go into this um 
yeah i think it is these ones so that is something that you will have to see because um on the installation guide um, it doesn't really tell you which screw is uh, going into these uh, the appropriate ones but obviously if you've done it before you can uh, clearly see which one it will be uh, where i was able to identify it's just the smaller ones that go in this section and um, obviously there are some bigger screws that that go into the back side um, all right so what we need to do all we need to now do is get cracking with the um, with the installation so we'll just put the mother oh sorry um i'm forgetting that again um so firstly what we need to do is we just need to get the get the shield um and put the shield in the shield is uh, pretty simple to put in uh, it's just basically uh, pushing it pushing it inside um but obviously it actually goes from the inside out um so just gonna uh, just carefully firstly i think uh, best option would be for you to compare how this looks so as you can see i was holding it incorrectly this is the way it will go in so you can see you can just match it up um with the motherboard I'm, I'm, i apologize i think the motherboard was too high up so you couldn't see it but yes um all you need to do is just take it under um and uh oh, the white of oh, the cable was in the way uh, so once it's in place just sort of like give it a little push in uh, yep that's it so it will once it it's clicking in place and um, that's when you know that it's yep that's it uh yeah what well, oh it's coming off uh, oh god um i'm not too sure why it's not holding in place everything seems to be fine let's try it again i think it's uh, more of the fan side which i could tell it's not getting slotted in yep Yep, those are the kind of, I can see that it's, um, it's not getting the right fit on, on this end. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, there's slightly a gap at the bottom. I'm not too sure why that is the case. Yes. Right, it's gone in. So you will know that it's gone in. You'll see, you'll be able to see it um outside of that parameter right um okay we've got everything well that's in place now so we can get cracking and get the motherboard in uh, you won't have to worry much about the everything that that is there so coming in because uh, as you will get it uh yes it will come into place at the back here i can see yeah just checking the fitment right um yeah it all looks good to me so it's time for us to get it get the motherboard screwed in
right and um, what i tend to do is i will just sort of like go in a cross section So I've done one of the bottom ones, one on the top is done and that makes it two on the top done. Just gonna do the bottom one. It's uh, pretty tight in there but you should be able to just hopefully get it in and secured in to be honest I my my <laughs> screwdriver is not the best either but for now it will have to do because um, that's that's the only one available to me at the moment but yes i do need to get a proper kit i mean um yeah like a proper kit like these days you can get those electronic ones which are pretty neat um and they're pretty good as well and um, you can get it um well it it makes your job easier and quicker um uh, because they are powered from a battery so i think this is the last one all right so all of them are in i'm just going to make sure once more that they're all tight enough to hold it you don't need to really over tighten them as long as the motherboard is secure in there and um, that should do so that's uh, the motherboard installed um yeah if um you've got any questions um just uh, uh, put them in the comments and um, we're gonna leave the build at, at this stage for now and um we'll continue in the next one thank you for watching